Our youngest victim at the time of the occurrence is, was nine years old. Most of these events and incidents occurred at parties, although several of these events occurred at auditions. Some of this behavior occurred at private residences of people that we all know. You should know that more than 55% of the victims filed reports, reported this conduct to either the authorities, that is the police, or to hospitals. Drugs were found in their system, weird drugs, drugs that you probably never heard of. One in particular that, that continues to pop up is a drug called xylazine or Trank, which based on uh, our research is known as a horse tranquilizer. Tony, were all of the children auditioning because they were musicians? All, all seeking either TV or some sort of music career with promises of, you know, we're gonna make you a star. Instead, basically did things to them such that they don't wanna have anything to do with the entertainment industry ever again. But this individual who was nine years old at the time uh, was uh, taken to a audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Uh, this individual was sexually abused, allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio uh, in the promise uh, to both his parents and uh, to him himself of getting a record deal. Um, another instance, another minor, uh, told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed a visit with him in private about it. Allegedly, Mr. Combs made uh, the victim uh, perform oral sex upon him. It was not your fault. You were victimized by a group of powerful people that operated for 30 plus years. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs. Now, according to Busby, several of the 120 people that he's representing have now spoken with the FBI. They are from 25 different states. Most are from California and New York, which is where Busby says these alleged attacks occurred. He also says that most of the victims tell him uh, that they were given some sort of a drink, and it turns out that drink was drugged. They say they woke up with severe damage to uh, certain private areas of their bodies, and they couldn't remember anything. But of course, Andy, Sean P. Diddy Combs is maintaining he did not sexually abuse anyone. All right, some disturbing details, like you mentioned, a nine-year-old potentially involved in this dating back to 1991. Uh, Donna Lee, I do have to ask you, were there any victims there? Did they speak out at this press conference at all? You know, actually, there were not any victims there, and I probably should have pointed that out. There were several people standing there uh, with uh, the attorney, Tony Busby, and uh, they were victims' advocates, and uh, they were also, you know, some were attorneys, but there were not any victims there at the news conference. All right, still very emotional, traumatic uh, events, and these allegations very, very serious. Donnelly, thank you so much for your time and uh, your great reporting here on Live Not for Fox. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. All right, thank you so much. All right, let's continue on. Of course, we were listening into that press conference earlier on today as over 100 people coming forward with this lawsuit, the Texas-based attorney making this announcement earlier on today. Let's take you out to these remarks a little bit in full and listen into what transpired earlier today. And of course, we want to reiterate that viewer dis discretion is advised as some of these details are very difficult to hear. Let's listen in. My name is Tony Busby. I'm a lawyer here in Houston. I'm licensed in Texas and in New York. And I'll introduce other members of our team as they speak. As many of you know, our law firm has been at the forefront of some of the most important litigation in the United States. We like the tough cases. We thrive in the complicated cases. We've handled over the last 25 years some very big and very important cases. I believe that this one may surpass them all. 
There are many facets to this. The conduct we will describe today occurred over more than 20 years. There are many people and many entities involved. And we're gonna follow this evidence wherever it takes us. We will find the silent accomplices. We will expose the enablers who enabled this conduct behind closed doors. We will pursue this matter no matter who the evidence implicates. These brave victims who have stepped forward deserve nothing less. The biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. Our team has had at this point more than 3,285 individuals contact us with people claiming, people claiming to have been victimized by Sean Combs. After vetting, we now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs, as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Now, before we discuss the nature of the claims and claimants themselves, let me comment on the large volume of calls we have received since our first announcement. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and it screened a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise for a variety of reasons are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. But no, most of these people are scared. They fear backlash in their communities. They fear backlash in their own families. They are afraid of retaliation from the perpetrators and their associates. They are rightly afraid for their own personal safety. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. We know what we are potentially up against.